Welcome to another Tableau video. In this one, we're going to be covering quick table calculations, in particular, the running total. I'm going to show you exactly how it works and a few little tricks along the way. So let's go. Yes, here we are for another video. And if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I publish new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That way you don't miss out. So let's get into it. And the first thing we do is look at the data. So if you want to follow along with this, I have the data set in the um, uh, description below. There's a link there. And I'm going to open this up in Excel so I can, you can see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. This is what the data looks like. It's very simple. And it's a data set I've used uh, previously. We're not really going to use the whole thing. We're really just using the order date for this example, right? So it's very simple. Let's close this up and let's load it up. Here we go. So I'm just going to drag and drop it in here. And this is what you should see. Cool. Let's go to sheet one and let's begin. So really, what is a running total? Well, let me start by showing you what, what that is and kind of how the numbers actually move about so you can see it. So I'm just going to do a kind of over time, let's say quarter. Yeah, quarter is good. And I'm going to count the number of rows. So in this particular one, I think there's 10,000. 10,000 rows. And if you count the total rows by the date, this is what you get. Okay. And I'm going to make this into a bar and I'm going to add some labels in like so. And then I'm going to add the running total. So don't worry about how I did this at the moment. It is really just a demonstration. Okay. So the top one is your running total. So what this means is the count over time and you're adding every preceding value. So for example, this um, 676, where did it come from? Well, 676 is really the sum of the two previous ones, right? Oh, well, itself and everything before it. If I look at 2,255, if I add all these up, you can see there with the total, 2,255 all the way to the end, 6,687, if we highlight all this, 6,687. So running total is really good because you can see over a long period of time, where did we start? And what did we end up with? So let me show you how to actually apply it. All right. So let's get rid of the running total. Oh, hang on, hang on. What do I do? Why is that not getting rid of? Uh, maybe there. Okay. So we have individual values. So you can do running total in a few ways. One is like, you know, uh, over time, you can do it over discrete fields, you can do it in a table. So I'll show you a few variations. This one is using a continuous um, time, you know, going this way. And what we wanted to do is apply a running total. So what I can do is, and I actually recommend you do this when you first do it, put in the values that you want to apply a running total to. Then hold control on your keyboard and duplicate it. Okay, simply by gra uh, grabbing and putting it next to it. So now you have two of the same thing and apply running total to just one of them. Uh, what I tend to see is if you are just applying formulas, but you're not able to kind of understand what it's doing mathematically, that's when people can get a bit lost. But if you can see, oh, this one is this, this one, and you can verify it, then you know you're doing the right thing. So then once you have this, we're going to apply the running total to one of them. So let's say I'm going to do it to the first one. I simply right click on this pill, quick table calculation and running total. You can see there's actually heaps of them and I'm going to do videos over the next couple of days and um, should cover a lot more of them in detail. So once you do that, you're going to go running total and there you have it. Okay. So one thing to be careful with is if you do this, let me go back, let me get rid of this label and let me get rid of one of them. One of the mistakes that can happen is you're going, okay, I've got my bar charts. I'm going to add a label. So what we do is we bring this one into label as well. Cool. So now it has a label. No problem. I'm going to duplicate this one like we did before. Okay. Everything is good. And then I'm going to apply a running total on this like we did before. Cool. And everything looks fine until you notice these labels. Right? You can see that these are actually the same as the bottom, but they do not correspond to the axis in this one. So just be careful that whenever you have labels, always check that for this one, you are using the running total as the label. Okay, And the way you guarantee that is if you get rid of this, always duplicate from your creation. So we grab this one and drop it into label. That way we know for sure 
this is representing this one. Cool. Now, quick table can apply to whatever granularity you want in terms of time. So if I make this monthly, cool, I can make it weekly, daily, and so on and so forth. One thing you can do here as like um, a good type of display is that usually in you know business, we're interested in both aspects. We want to see kind of day by day or month on month how it's traveling, but then we also want to see the running total at the same time. Now you can do it like this, but one of the ways I do it is if you get rid of these labels first. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so no more labels. I'm going to make the running total a line chart. So this one right here, we're going to go line. Cool. And I'm going to make this bottom one uh, well, a bar, it's already a bar, no problem. And we're going to go dual axis. So clicking on the second one, we're going to go dual axis, like so. And what you'll notice is the orange one's actually behind the blue. We want it to be the other way around. So what we do is we simply take this one and put it next to it, right? And that reverses the order. And you'll see what happens to the orange. Yeah, you can see the orange is now on top. Now the colors are kind of conflicting. Uh, so it's hard to focus on one thing. So what you can do is if you go to the bar chart settings here and go color, you can reduce the opacity, right? And you can see what happens once you do it bit by bit, that the orange starts to kind of jump out of you. And this is really making use of contrast, right? Of how the eye actually sees color. So you can still see it in the back, right? That, oh, there was a spike here, there was a spike here. But really the focus for the eyes is the orange. Okay, so neat little trick. Then what I do next is just to ensure people read this correctly in that they don't go orange is 450. I match the colors of the axis to the, to the parts of the visualization itself. So this one is orange. So if I go here and go right click format over here in font, I'm just going to switch it to the same color. So it's a tiny little thing, but it helps a lot for when people read this. Okay, so we'll go blue and bold. There you have it. Okay, so one more thing we're going to do with a running total is if you do it like this, you're kind of going in just one direction. Okay, in running total, you can do all sorts of different directions. So let me show you. If I right click drag order date into rows, I'm going to go discrete month. Then I'm going to do the same thing right click drag order date into columns and go discrete year. Right, and we're going to bring that value inside. Now I can choose which way to do a running total. I can say go this way, then this way, like kind of as a zigzag going like that. Or I can say go like this, start again, right, going this way. Right, it's very simple. You simply do the same thing quick table, running total. Right, and you can see now the numbers are climbing, but it's hard to see which way. So what we do is we right click here. And we go edit table calculation. Okay. And this one will actually tell you kind of how it's going. So you go table across. So what this one is actually doing is just going that way, just one by one. And the way we test that is if I go into analytics and I just press total. So if we just double click this, right, all these values match all these values, right? And that is because we're simply doing line by line. But what if I want to have the running total all the way to the end? Well, I can go back in here, uh, edit table calculation. I can go down, which means they all go this way. Or I can go across then down. So it goes like this, like that zigzag we spoke about. Okay. Or I can go down then across. So it's really up to you. I mean, these are the main ones I use, these four. And the cell and specific dimensions, that's for very custom situations. But typically, these are the ones you use. And you can see it's very easy to switch between them. You can also change that going here, compute using, and change it this way. Very easy. Okay. So that is your quick table calculations for your running total. If you like this video, be sure to um, smash that like button. It really helps a lot to spread the channel. And if you want to learn heaps more about Tableau and basically all of the quick table calculations, I have a course on Udemy that teaches pretty much everything. Um, but I keep publishing on YouTube just as much as I can. But if you want to check that out and really further your learning, there is a link in the description below to my course. Hope you enjoy and I will see you next time.